Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. It is tax time. The season is in full swing and pretty soon that April 15th deadline is going to be upon us. So this morning we're getting some tax, ti tax tips that will help you get a break with Uncle Sam. Some things you may not know about. So we have tax attorney Ronson Shamoon from RJS Law. And you're here in studio to tell us more. Good morning to you, first morning. of all. And How happy Monday. Thank you. I know you're giving a lot of people help right now because yes. they get nervous as that deadline comes um, up to us. But um, let's talk about how we can help people out. There's actual um, things that we can get deductions for. Charitable miles. What is this to start off? Most people deduct the expenses that they donate to charity. You know, whatever, if it's, let's say, clothes or money, but they don't realize that you could deduct the miles to achieve that goal. So if you're driving and donating your time to an event, you could deduct the miles to and from that event. If you're prepping for an event and you and some your family are going to, to the store, grocery store, doing something to help a charity, all those miles going back and forth or the gas expenses, you could add that to your deduction and deduct those as well. Wow, and uh, let's talk about moving and um, moving for unemployment. Right, a lot of people have lost their jobs with this bad economy. If you need to move for a new job, you could deduct those moving expenses. Or if you had a job and you lost your job and you're searching for a new job, those expenses associated with searching for a job, traveling to go find a new job, resume building, uh, calling an, a an agency to help you find a job, any of those expenses associated with helping you search for a new job, in addition to moving for that job, you could deduct those expenses as well. And that could be huge, especially oh, yeah. if it's out of state, cross country. Oh yeah, a lot of expenses and a lot of people are looking for a long time and they spend a lot of their own money trying to find that job. So at least helps your tax burden a little bit at the end of the year. All right, now this one's interesting. You can actually get a, a, a tax break for sending your kids to summer camp? How does that work? Right. Uh, right now, you could get a deduction for child and dependent care, but a lot of people don't realize that if you send your kids to a summer camp, as long as it's not an overnight camp, that would qualify as the child and dependent care. So if there's a good program where a kid could be in a, in, in a program for five days a week while you're at school, those summer camps are deductible as if you're sending them to a daycare while you work. So does the parent have to be working and or in school? For as that yet. to be a deduction? Exactly. If okay. they're working and their kids are going to school to, to provide for them to work, then yes. Okay. And then there's another thing about medical expenses. How does that work? Medical expenses are deductible, but a lot of people limit their medical expenses to their premiums for health insurance or some of their out-of-pocket expenses. Um, a lot of people go uh, get medical treatment for obesity or for smoking or for alcohol addiction. Any of those expenses associated with that, even a chiropractor, um, going getting you know, acupuncture, any expenses that are medical, take them to your tax preparer. Most likely they'll be deductible. Right. You're the guy who'll help us out. Just yes. tell them what you've <laughs> done and then they'll work all that out from there. Exactly. Uh, and then the last one, the tax deduction for sending your kids off to college. Yes, there are a lot of uh, tax credits for education. If you yourself are going to school or if you're a parent sending your kids to school, there's an American Opportunity Credit or a Lifetime Learning Credit. So the government does support individuals who go to get education for themselves or to who send their kids to school. Yeah, now these are just the top ones. Uh, you probably have more tips oh, there for us. Are plenty. If we had more time, we'd definitely get them. But I think the biggest tip, that, and you told me, is just sit down, lay out what you've done for the year to and your tax preparer. Take the time. Right, and always get help. It's not worth it. Pay a little bit of extra money, hire a tax professional. You'll save way more than the fees you pay them with these deductions people don't know about. Thank you so much for You're helping us welcome. out. I'm sure our, all of our viewers are so <laughs> thankful for that. Uh, the deadline's coming. So for all those tax secrets that you just heard, to get in contact with Ronson, go to our website, fox5sandiego.com, and click on the scene on tab.